Going, people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my topless Mazda MX5. Yes, here we are again. It is that season where all of us convertible car owners, particularly those of us that have hard top roofs that you kind of put on over the winter, start thinking about taking those roofs off and putting on the soft tops. Now, this is my first year of really having to go through this struggle. <laughs> My first year of really having to go through this struggle of deciding when is the best time to remove that hard top roof and is it is it going to be frosty still, is it going to be cold, is it going to rain, all of those kinds of questions. So I thought in today's video as the weather has been so good and looks like it's going to be so good at least for the rest of this week, I would answer the question is it worth having a convertible car in the UK? Now I'm sure with that preamble intro I've probably dragged this on for long enough already uh, so remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff and without further ado let's get into the video. So I think it's important to start with some context. So in the UK, theoretically, there are 8,760 hours per year. Of those hours, we should get 4,380 of daytime. And of those hours in the UK, we have 1,493 hours of sunshine. Hold on, context pause. You know what it's time for. If you can't already tell, I'm having quite a lot of fun with the roof down. And now considering that's quite a small amount of time with actual sunshine here in the UK and you're not going to be driving for all of those hours of sunshine because you'll be at work or you will be doing sport or having a lovely time with your family or with your friends, you're really not going to spend very much of that time actually in your convertible car driving it around enjoying perfectly blue skies as I am today. So that did make me wonder whether or not this is really a worthwhile pastime. I mean I'm having a great time in my shirt, I feel like I'm in Miami or something just cruising along but in reality this is a very few and far between experience for us here in the UK. UK where particularly in spring it can be like this one day and then the next day it can be torrential rain. Now to any of my UK compatriots you will have known that recently we've had some nice hot sunny days followed almost immediately by snow and it just doesn't make any sense. And this isn't weather with JB by the way this is very much cars with JB. So let's talk about convertible cars and the pros and cons of owning them here in the UK in particular. And just as a pre-warning there are a lot of cons. The first one being soft top maintenance. Now you will have seen last year if you've watched my videos that I replaced the soft top roof on this car because the previous one was absolutely ruined. Quite a fiddly and difficult job but all in I'm very fortunate to have a dad who's a car mechanic who could help me do it. But now I need to maintain this roof and as part of that one thing that I haven't really done over the winter is I haven't given a chance for that roof to stretch its legs so when I pull that roof out later today it's going to be impossible to get it to clip into these clips up front. I'm going to be stretching it for absolutely ages to get it to work. But that's because the faff of once every couple of weeks pulling it out and trying to clip it in and removing the hardtop roof is just way too much. Also, as I mentioned in the introduction, the difficulty of choosing when is the time to just put the hardtop roof on or to just take the hardtop roof off is really tough. Obviously, this isn't a factor for those of you that have full-time hardtop convertible cars or full-time softtop convertible cars, but for those of us that have a hardtop addition to our cars, it can be quite difficult to work out when exactly is the right time. Like, when it gets to autumn, some days are absolutely stunning and then other days are absolutely awful. And I just couldn't tell you when the exact right time is to make the decision or to pull the trigger on putting that roof on or taking it off. Right now, I've, I think I'm an early adopter this year. I'm a 2021 early adopter, I think at least. 
But that's because I'm going to Caffeine and Machine at the weekend and I really want people to see the car in all its glory rather than just with the hard top on. But in reality, I know there's still frost to come this year and I don't really want to have to worry about maybe getting water in the car or anything like that. So, I don't know, it, it, it still feels a little bit sketchy the time of year that I've done this. And as part of that, one of the key reasons why I have a hard top roof, not only because I think it looks better generally during both summer and winter, I love having that hard top roof on, but also I have a genuine fear of people slashing the soft top roof because I know loads of people who have had their soft top slashed and on the one hand that's annoying because people might nick something out of your car they're not going to steal the car because I've got an immobilizer and that kind of stuff so I'd, I'd hope they wouldn't get stolen but I, I don't really leave too many valuables in the car either but still there could be those times where you do but the main reason why I would hate someone to slash my roof is because I know how difficult it is to put another soft top roof on and I just don't want to do that faff again. I'm, I've done it once, we're finished now. I'm not gonna make another video out of it. It's finished. Let me, let me just keep my soft top roof on. Another problem with having a convertible car like this one in particular, other cars maybe not so much, but ones where you've got a manual folding roof like I do, it can, uh, it can definitely catch you out on occasions. I went on a lovely day out last year to Kew Gardens with my girlfriend, had a great time just walking around. It was beautiful sunshine, like 25, 26 degrees kind of stunning. Great, great day out. Got into the MX-5, we're like, let's, let's drop the roof down. Let's drop the roof, it's all calm. Yeah, so we dropped the roof down, very happy. Started driving home, again, stunning. Feeling like absolute bosses in this car, like no one's, no one's gonna mess with us, we're in our convertible, we're cruising. Get on the M25, going along again, still nice weather, but the clouds start to appear very slowly. All of a sudden they start appearing very quickly. And I start to get a little bit worried. I'm thinking like, hmm, is it gonna start raining? And then that horrific moment, a little bit of drizzle. And now what am I gonna do? How am I gonna reach back over there? And I can't, I'm, I'm, I've got this harness on. I'm not gonna reach back over there and grab the, the roof, am I, at 70 miles per hour on the motorway. So I just gotta commit and drive in the drizzle, which then becomes rain, which then becomes quite heavy rain. And you don't actually get drenched when you're doing 70 on the motorway and there's rain coming down because the actual rain gets sort of sent over the car because of aerodynamics. But it still doesn't look very cool when you're driving along in your convertible car when you thought you were looking very cool and it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Everyone is looking at you laughing, reminding you that you're a rubbish YouTuber, etc, etc, etc. I'm almost in that golden hour right now where I can actually put up the, uh, the headlights, can't I? Yes, look at that. This is prime MX-5 driving. Roof down, pop-ups up. We're very happy with this. This is exactly what I was after. But yeah, so getting caught out by weather can be very annoying. And it's the same the other way around, to be honest. The amount of sunny days that we've had recently where I could have had my roof off, having a great time, and I'm just sitting there sweltering with my hard top on, it just feels like, I don't know, you, you just lose the agility that you would otherwise maybe have. Uh, this is maybe a problem just for me, I guess, because of the hard top slash soft top conundrum. And now, kind of related to that, you've got one other thing that I find particularly annoying, but I have coined with the term soft top fat. Now that is when you turn up to a shopping center, a supermarket, whatever, and you park the car and you're gonna be five minutes running in and out. Do you put the soft top back on? Or do I just lock up everything in the car and then pray that no one steals anything? Now my mindset or my strategy is leave the soft top down to save time but put the windows up. Then someone would have to actively kind of climb over the windows or whatever to get into the car. But I don't really know. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer to that. It's just a sketchy one where you're like, oh, what, what, what's, what's the etiquette here? Just as there are scumbags that will slash your roof for no reason, there are scumbags that will jump into your car for no reason and mess around with stuff. And maybe the final con that I'd like to mention is the fact that the car, in my opinion at least, doesn't look as good with the soft top up. I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I think the car looks really good with the hard top on. I think it looks really good with no roof, but with the soft top, it's not that nice. And I know that I don't really look at the car whilst I'm driving it, obviously I'm too busy driving it, but then for pictures and stuff like that, I don't know, I, I just prefer having either roof off or hard top roof. It, without, with the soft top, yeah, it's, it's a bit boring to be honest. Oh, and by the way, keep all of that, what I've just said, in the context of, in the UK, it's generally not the right weather to have a convertible car all the time. If we were in Spain or Portugal or places like that, where you get a lot of sun and some nice cruising roads and whatever, perfect just super super nice but in the uk where it's gray and there's drizzle and all that other boring stuff yeah, i don't know it, it maybe you can make the case that it's not worth having a convertible but then there's a very strong case for convertibles and uh that's a day like today where you get to do stuff like this it's 
desiccating. It's so much fun just being out in the open with all of this sunshine around you, like a 360 view of the world. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. And I don't want to make the, the pros of this video all obviously related to uh, emotions and stuff, but a lot of what I like about driving cars is how I feel when I'm driving them. And when I drive my MX-5 with the top down on a sunny day, particularly a sunny evening like this when I can have it in full MX-5 spec, it's nothing better. And even if I'm not going fast, I think one of the key pros of driving a convertible car is that it makes you feel like you don't need to drive fast. You're enjoying the process of driving so much, even in a car that is as fast focused as this, a track focused supercharged MX-5 that only likes going fast because it's got a race clutch in it. It doesn't let you go slowly. I'm having a great time just cruising, arm out the window, wind through my hat, it's chill, it's so chill. It's days like this that remind you why it is worth having a convertible car in the UK. It's that time again. Ah, oh, it's just too much fun, man. Okay, so another not particularly serious one. Something that I quite enjoy is how exposed you are in a convertible car. People seem much less willing to road rage at you when you're in a convertible. They sort of, they see more of you and then they have to kind of make a decision about whether or not they actually want to get into a road rage fight with you. Maybe it's just the case of I'm driving more chilled because I've not got a roof on the car. But also I think there's definitely a factor in there of people just not wanting to go to war with someone that they can see all of in the car. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with that. I, I, I don't know if you guys have the same experience if you have a convertible. It's like when someone does something stupid and they know they've done something stupid and in a normal situation or a normal car they would probably just be adamant that they were in the right regardless when you're in this they kind of look at you a little bit more sheepish because they're like ah oh, man like I'm not about to go to war with someone that I can see all of this car is so sick another pro if you've got an annoying passenger you can barely hear them. It's calm. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me right now. It, it doesn't really matter. I'm having too much fun. And there's another massive benefit to these kinds of cars as well. And that is that it is almost road trip season. And now obviously here in the UK, we're not out of the other side of all of the problems that we've been having over the last year. And so as a result of that, it's quite likely a lot of our holidays this summer will be in the UK. And you could go road tripping in a normal coupe and you'd have a great time doing it. But there's just something so nice about going on a long cruise in a convertible car it just it, it it is supposed to be more luxurious this is why cars like the phantom drophead are more expensive than the phantom the phantom gives you luxury the phantom drophead gives you luxury and it ensures that everyone else can also see that luxury and i for one am definitely planning on doing a few road trips this summer so might head away with aldas and that lot might head away with some of my other friends to scotland which i think would be really nice want to go to the nurburgring ideally i have no idea if i'm going to be able to but it would be cool if I could and though it would be fun in a coupe I'd have to go for my convertible this is actually a genuine dilemma that I'm having as well I'm looking at buying an Alfa Romeo 4C as I've said in a million previous videos I much prefer the look of the hardtop 4C but I know for certain I would much prefer driving the convertible 4C so which one would I go for I have absolutely no idea obviously a very nice dilemma to have but a dilemma nonetheless. So let's answer the question before I sign this video off. Is it worth having a convertible car in the UK? Well, it's, you're not going to get to use it all of the time. It's going to be wet and rainy. There are going to be days where you're annoyed by having to maintain your soft top roof if you get a soft top. You're going to go extended periods of time without using your hard top convertible if you have a hard top convertible. There are plenty of reasons to not have a convertible here in the UK. But when the day is hot and sunny and it looks like this, really not much that beats it. I just love this man, it's so much fun. So in my opinion, yes, convertibles are well worth it in the UK. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, if there's one day of sun per year, it's worth having a convertible because you will have so much fun on that one day. And I think that's a good place to end this video. So massive thank you to the patrons as always for their continued support and for you guys as well for watching. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe as well if you're new, if you wanna see more of this great little Mazda MX-5 that I'm building. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.